Children who look to follow their father's footsteps in becoming professional footballers often struggle to live up to the high expectations set by their fathers. And there are many examples of this, including Zinedine Zidane, who is one of the all-time greats and has two sons playing football, but in the lower divisions of Spain and nowhere near the level of their father. However, there are instances where the son ends up becoming a better footballer than his father ever was. And that's exactly what we'll be taking a look at in this video. Before we get started, please like and subscribe. Number 7. Frank Lampard One of the bigger names on this list, Chelsea legend Lampard Jr has had an incredible career leaving his dad in his shadow. Lampard Sr spent 18 years in the West Ham first team playing 551 league games and scoring 18 goals from left back. There is only one player, Billy Bonds, who has made more appearances for West Ham than Lampard Sr and he was a part of two of the three FA Cups West Ham have won in their history. A local Essex boy, he is considered a West Ham legend and even earned two caps for England. So when his son, Frank Lampard Jr, broke through West Ham's academy under Uncle Harry Redknapp, there were accusations that he only broke through due to his family ties with West Ham. But it's safe to say that Lampard proved his doubters wrong as he played 106 times for England and played 600 times in the Premier League. He won three Premier League titles with Chelsea as well as four FA Cups, two League Cups and a Champions League. With 212 goals, he is also Chelsea's all-time top scorer. Number 6. Thiago Alcantara This one is a less well-known by casual fans, mostly due to the fact that Thiago's dad played for a different country. Thiago Alcantara's father, Mazinho, earned 33 caps for Brazil, helping them win the 1994 World Cup. The midfielder spent most of his career between 1985 and 2001 in Europe with the likes of Fiorentina, Valencia and Celta Vigo. And while Mazinho won several honours in his native country Brazil, he failed to win any silverware in Europe. His son Thiago Alcantara on the other hand, has several honours in Europe with the biggest teams in the world. He won four La Liga crowns at Barcelona and a further seven league titles at Bayern Munich with two Champions League trophies. Unfortunately, Thiago is yet to win anything with Spain and has only 46 caps for his country, despite making his debut all the way back in 2011. So whilst both father and son were successful in their own right, Thiago's domestic successes proves he succeeded his dad. Number 5. Sergio Busquets Sergio Busquets spent his whole career at Barcelona, with his dad Carlos spending the majority of his career there too. Originally a striker, Busquets Sr worked his way through the Barcelona youth ranks and played 79 times for the first team as a goalkeeper. But unfortunately, he was mostly a backup keeper and stuck behind the great Andoni Zuba Zareta for most of his career at Barcelona. The final three years of his career saw him being a first choice stopper at Lleida in the second division of Spain. But whilst Carlos Busquets never played for Spain, his son Sergio has amassed 143 caps for his country. And whilst his dad earned two La Liga winners medals, Sergio has got eight and counting to go with three Champions League titles, one World Cup and one European Championship. Unlike his father, Sergio Busquets has been a first team regular for Barcelona ever since he broke through and is one of their greatest ever players. Number 4. Leroy Sané Bayern Munich star Leroy Sané isn't the first in his family to play professional football. His father, Soleimani Jean Sané, played as a striker for a variety of German clubs in the 80s and the 90s. And to be fair to him, he had a solid career making over 150 appearances in the Bundesliga. Throughout his career, he was a prolific goal scorer, scoring over 100 goals in his professional career. He was also a Senegalese international making 23 appearances for his country. But his achievements are not comparable to his son Leroy Sane. The 27 year old already has doubled the international appearances as his father and that too for Germany a country with far better competition for places. At club career, he has featured mostly for Man City and Bayern Munich, two of the biggest clubs in the world. And so far in his career, he has won two Premier Leagues, two Bundesligas, to go along with his multiple domestic cups. In comparison, his father didn't even win a trophy in his whole professional career. Number 3. Nigel de Jong Nigel de Jong enjoyed an almost 20 year professional career where he featured for some of the biggest sides in the world. And his father, Jerry de Jong, also enjoyed a long footballing career. He had a reputation of being a tough tackler so it clearly runs in the family. 
The longest spell of his career came at PSV, although he only made 51 appearances as he struggled to establish himself as a first team regular. He did win three caps for the Netherlands during that time though, and then also played for several other teams in the Netherlands before retiring in 2001. His son Nigel on the other hand played 81 times for the Dutch national team, which makes his dad's three caps seem insignificant in comparison. Nigel de Jong played for teams all over the world which include Manchester City, AC Milan and Ajax. And at all these clubs, he was a first team regular. Surprisingly, he only won five trophies in his career, but that's still two more than what his father managed. Number two, Paolo Maldini. Arguably the greatest centre back of all time, Paolo Maldini needs no introduction. The AC Milan legend had a football career that spanned 25 years at the elite level. His father, Cesar Maldini, had a fantastic career in his own right. He won six trophies in a career spanning 15 years and this includes multiple league titles and the European Cup. He became an AC Milan legend thanks to playing there for over a decade and making over 412 appearances for them. And while Cesar Maldini's achievements are remarkable, they seem insignificant when compared to his son, Paolo. The younger Maldini made over double the appearances for AC Milan and won four times the trophies compared to his father. He played 126 times for his country, which is 112 more than his father managed. Whilst both Maldinis are legends of AC Milan, it is clear that Cesar Maldini was surpassed by his son. Number 1. Erling Haaland In 2017, then playing for Mould, Erling Haaland claimed, The goal is to become a better player than my dad was. I hope to get more Norway caps than he did. And whilst he hasn't got more Norway caps than his dad just yet, at 22 he is already the superior player. Alfinger Arland played for Nottingham Forest, Leeds and Man City in the Premier League in a solid career and won 34 caps for his country. But it's fair to say Erling has already overtaken Alfie, whose career was ended by a knee injury, with his famous clash with Roy Keane in April 2001 definitely playing a part. Haaland Sr played his final match in January 2002, aged just 29. His son Erling Haaland on the other hand has played for Salzburg, Dortmund and Man City and has been prolific for all three clubs. In 89 competitive games for Dortmund, he scored 86 goals. He moved to Man City last summer for £50 million and has 25 league goals. That's 8 more than second place Harry Kane. Whilst Alfie was a solid Premier League midfielder, his son is arguably the best striker in the world. And that was it for the 7 footballers who are better than their fathers. Can you name any other players who are better than their fathers? Comment them down below and as always please like, comment and subscribe.